Welcome to another edition of Coffee Coaching. I'm Andrea Sittig Rolf, Chief Blitzmaster and CEO of Sittig Incorporated and creator of the Blitz Experience. Do you have your coffee? Are you ready to go? Great. When was the last time you sent an article, press release, or news story to a client that was of particular interest to them that had nothing to do with what you sell? How about calling them just to check in and say hi without trying to sell them something? Or what about sending them a handwritten, non-company logo thank you note to thank them for their business? These are examples that will help cultivate the relationships you've created with your ambassadors. Google Alerts are email updates of the latest relevant Google results based on your choice of topic and can help you stay on top of the subjects your ambassadors are most interested in. They'll be impressed with how much you know about their hobbies, business interests, and other topics that they care about. To find it, type google.com slash alerts into your browser. Staying in touch with prospects and customers seems an obvious way to cultivate ambassadors. But when was the last time you proactively put a plan together for this activity and actually implemented it on a regular basis? Make a list of all your ambassadors with their contact information and check in periodically. The idea with checking in is that there's no deal or project going on at the moment, which adds to the effectiveness of calling for no reason. What will often happen is that during the course of the conversation, your ambassador will mention an opportunity for you to work together or may bring up the name of someone they'd like to introduce you to who has an upcoming project that might need your help. By checking in with them, you allow these new opportunities to happen as you have become top of mind with them. These new opportunities may remain undiscovered if you don't check in on a regular basis. Another idea for checking in with potential ambassadors is email campaigns and newsletters. The idea is to provide valuable information that is of interest to your ambassadors without the motive of selling. In conjunction with checking in via phone, email campaigns and newsletters can be highly effective for cultivating ambassador relationships. And don't forget the personal touch when it comes to keeping in touch. Especially effective is sending a handwritten note that is not on your company stationery. Take the time to select a card specifically for the recipient with a picture on the front that will appeal to them or message on the inside that is particularly relevant. What is said in the note does not have to be lengthy, or elaborate. In fact, what you say is actually less important than that you say something, anything. Thank you. Handwritten notes have such appeal because we rarely get them anymore. The fact that someone has taken the time to sit down and write something to us makes us feel special. Thanks for watching. Join us for another edition of Coffee Coaching. Mm -hmm.